Hi, uh, welcome to the Q&A recording of the film, The Monopoly of Violence, playing as part of uh, 11th European Union Human Rights Film Days. We are here with the director of the film, David Dufresne, who is joining us from Paris. Hi, David. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine, I hope you are well too. Sure, absolutely, thank you. And thank you for the invitation and thank you for the discussion. Thank you for joining the session as well. Um, so you're a multi-award winning documentary writer and a director and um, since 2010, you have developed several online documentary projects combining journalism and cinema. Uh, your documentary, The Monopoly of Violence is, is a stimulating uh, documentary about police violence uh, in contemporary France. So in the film, you take a closer look to the police brutality uh, and the government who justifies brutal acts uh, against its own citizens. Um, I would like to start with the origin of the film. You have a journalism background, uh, which we can feel in the documentary. Can you tell us how and when did you decide making this film? Uh, at, the, at the very beginning, so, so the, the movie is about um, police brutality and democracy. Uh, and I take the Yellow Vest movement as um, uh, uh, um, ground field, mm -hmm. but it's it's not only um, a movie about uh, Yellow Vest movement in, in France. It's about all the protestators from all over the democratic world, and and what the, the states could do or not. Uh, on their own citizen. And at the very beginning of the Yellow Vest movement, uh, I start to um, uh, to be like a, a Western brother. Uh, I, I made a lot of um, tweets um, with uh, steals or videos or um, medical certificate or testimonies uh, from people who were wounded uh, or attacked by uh, French police. So that's the very beginning of my work about this. Uh, and I made almost 1,000 um, uh, signal or alert, alert on Twitter, on my own um, Twitter account. And uh, it was always the same uh, message. Hello, that means hello, uh, Minister of Police. Hello, Plas Bovo, Minister of Police. Uh, this is for an announcement. This is for a, um, a report. Number one, number two, number three, number five, and so on, with um, the movie and uh, the date, the place, uh, what's going on on the video and everything. So two years after us, um, I, I began to... Uh, to write uh, and to think about this movie, The Monopoly of Violence. And this is the reason why there is so much uh, social network movies on my own movie. And uh, I'm very happy that you, you begin the, the discussion uh, mentioning my early work on um, uh, interactive documentary on tweet on, on internet, because I think uh, uh, The Monopoly of Violence is the uh, the following the follow up of what I did before. I mean, for me, um, movies, videos, videos from a social network could be uh, cinematic um, movies. Um, right now, <coughs> uh, right now, everybody get um, a camera in his pocket. And uh, this is change everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This is change uh, police. This is change um, politics and and the way of uh, making movies. Definitely, I actually have a question related to uh, it. I mean, citizen journalism. Um, I think it, your film is a very timely documentary because of two reasons. Uh, one, Only which. Two. Sorry? Only two. 
<laughs> no, 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 just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 I no, mean, no. not only two, but these are the two reasons that I thought maybe you know other audience obviously they 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 are going to see more, but mm -hmm. for me uh, there are basic I mean two main reasons uh, uh, for me. So um, the first first uh, one is like you said the citizen journalism. Uh, the global movements accelerated in the world. For instance, the murder of George Floyd by the police uh, reignited the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. And it was the smartphone footages of the citizens which revealed the murder. And also number two, because of the COVID, uh, because with the COVID, uh, we started discuss, we start to discuss digital surveillance. Uh, it, it became a hot topic um, around the world. So, um, would you like to say something about uh, these two? Uh, yes, uh, um, you, uh, you are absolutely right, because um, uh, actually my movie was finished before COVID and before George Floyd. Um, I think we are going uh, into a new age of uh, surveillance control, uh, a total uh, control uh, of the citizen by electronic uh, device or electronic eyes or uh, by police brutality. And um, th this is a reason why I, I, I made a, a joke in, in uh, just right now, because I think we need to love, <laughs> uh, because if we don't love, <laughs> we are going to commit uh, suicide because it, 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 times are very tough right now, very tough right now. But uh, times are also um, a moment of, um, of we, we can have some uh, hope because uh, the electronic eyes, from uh, police um, uh, cameras, so really? yeah, we, we can turn it with the phone, you know, with that. Okay, okay, I can tap right now, Bah. And and uh, the George Floyd movement uh, show to all the to the world there is um, a problem. There is a problem. Uh, with police and population, even in the free democratic countries and so on. And uh, I have to say, uh, to me, this is very interesting that the monopoly of violence is uh, showing um, in um, a screening in uh, Turkey. <laughs> because for us, <laughs> Turkey is not a model of a, a democracy, and 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 uh, and, <laughs> and to be honest, in one edit of the of the movie, uh, of my own movie, uh, there are some uh, images from Erdogan and Macron uh, about the Yellow Vest movement and about the re response from uh, French police uh, to the French citizen. Because I, I remember. Uh, there are some um, quotes from uh, your president, uh, very tough on, but very, very legitimate and very, uh, um, uh, well, yes, uh, from, from Erdogan to, uh, to Macron. And, and this is what the, the guy from the United Nations say in, in the movie, uh, France, uh, La France uh, sh shown uh, a very bad image of itself with the uh, with the French uh, with the brutality from 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 police. So uh, I'm very um, I'm pretty anxious <laughs> what <laughs> the uh, Turkish uh, audience will think about the that movie. But I think uh, we 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 need. We need to think about uh, um, about the, the police in France as in Turkey, not for the same exactly the same reason, but pas loin. Not, not so far. Not so far. Yes, I think it's because I mean 
we would like to screen the film because it's a hot topic around the world. I mean, not only in France, not only in the US, but in Turkey and in other countries as well. So I think we need a dialogue uh, Absolutely. for this issue. Um, so I have another question about the um, um, technique of the film. You, your film basically combines two elements, uh, smartphone footages capturing police brutality and interviews uh, with various intellectuals uh, and also the victims of police brutality, demonstrators, and as well as police union uh, officials. So we can say that you have a, a very balanced uh, approach to the issue. I'm wondering, uh, how did you select the people speaking in the film? Um, I have to say something very important to me. In the movie, uh, you, you, you are going to, uh, to listen uh, people and I don't give you her na their name and their um, function uh, and their... Uh, um, I didn't say that guy is a policeman. This woman is uh, an attorney and... Uh, it's like a um, it's like a surprise for everybody, and at the very ending of the movie, I tell you, okay, that guy is a policeman. That guy is a, is a, uh, um, I, I don't know, uh, is a, a philosopher, and uh, and uh, she's a social uh, worker, and and so on. Why do I say that? is because I, I don't think there is, uh, in one side, people who, who are thinking and people who are talking. And to me, it, it's a mix. And the, the more powerful, uh, the more political sentence in the movie, to, to my opinion, uh, are, not the, are not said by uh, intellectuals, but, they are said by uh, victims or something like that. Uh, to, th that means I don't think um, you know the the TV the TV rules. There is uh, expert and there is victim is a good way to make a, a, a true documentary. Uh, to me, it's very important to to say okay, one voice is one voice, and and we need to we need to uh, listen everybody as the same label. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, how, how did I choose the people? Sometimes I, I know some people uh, since three years ago and uh, three, 30 years ago. <laughs> and sometimes I discover the people uh, who are talking in the movie during the shooting. Uh, so th there are, they show, uh, no, sorry. Um, there is something in common uh, to all the people in the movie is they want to debate. Mm -hmm. They want to listen. They want to talk, but they are not. No, they, they talk, they listen. They, uh, and it's like an exchange. Uh, between uh, them and between you and the movie, uh, uh, because I think the the, the the cinema is the best place for debate to debate. Definitely, I agree with you. And there is a strong need of uh, dialogue for this issue. You know, yeah. we need to yeah. listen to each other. So I think your film is really important in terms of. <laughs> Yes, you, you, this you're right. I, I, I say all the time debate, and you say, and you're right, dialogue, because debate, uh, that's a truly French <laughs> debate. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's a hard discussion. It's a dialogue, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're right, dialogue. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good uh, word. Um, David, I mean, you are raising a lot of questions in the film. I mean, what does state mean? What does legitimate violence mean? It's a really conversation starting documentary, but our time is limited, unfortunately. And if there's anything you would like to address, 
uh, that I haven't asked you about, please uh, feel free to add. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, open the border. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong message. <laughs> thank you for sharing your uh, strong documentary with us and joining this Q&A session, David, and hope to see more films of you in the future. Thank you very much.